Well, you know the cameras are here. Oh, okay. So, from reading the Bible, yeah. I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. What does that mean? He's the Son of which God? God the Father. Only God the Father? Is he the Son of only God the Father? Well, when you say, when you say God, yeah. do you only consider God as just the Father? Yes. So the Holy Ghost is not God. Well, the Holy Ghost is from God. But is he God? I'm not. I don't understand all of this. Well, it's simple English, my friend. Which no. part of that you don't understand? No. Well, what I'm trying to say is. The Holy Ghost yeah. proceeds from God. Is he God? That's and, that's all I want to know. Look, you know God. when I asked you about the Father, you did not hesitate. You said, yes, yeah. he's God. Yeah. Now the same question to you. If the Father is God, is the Holy Spirit God as well? I'm trying to explain. Okay, go on. The Holy Spirit yeah. proceeds from God. Like if, like if you're God, yeah, and your spirit, so it's, a, it's one with, within you. You know what yeah. proceeds means? What? What does proceed means? That means you have, you have, a beginning you have a starting point so if he proceeds from God that means he began to exist from God is that what you're saying does the Holy Spirit have a beginning okay the scripture says that God is, is a spirit right you tell me right the scripture say that God is a spirit and who worship God will worship him in spirit and yeah. in truth okay right so God the Father yeah. the most high is him he uh, and then he, his, his spirit, which was from the beginning with him, who went and uh, created the world and everything. Yeah, like in Genesis where he said the spirit of God moved on the water. How do you know that's the spirit of God? Uh, that's referring to the Holy Spirit. You, can also the you just told me the Father is also spirit. So, no, what does I it tell you? No, I said that the Father. The mm. Scripture says the Father, God is a spirit, and Good. you worship Him, which worship Him in spirit and in truth. That's what that's what I said. Okay, so you yeah. still haven't answered my question. Is the Holy Spirit God or not? That's all I want to know. The Holy Spirit? Okay, no. No. Okay, no. what about the Son? Is the Son God? Well, no. Okay, so you only acknowledge one person that is God, that yes. is the Father? Yes. Okay, so you do not... According to the Bible. Yes, of course, according to the Bible. Right. So, once again, yeah. who made Mary pregnant? Sorry, not once again, it's a new question. God. Who made Mary pregnant? The Father? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Not the Holy Spirit. He sent the Spirit. So who made Mary pregnant? The so Spirit? What is by him? He gave the order. Okay, so, so he commanded him. So ultimate, yes. Okay, so ultimately, who made Mary pregnant? God. God, the Father, right? Yes. Okay, so hence he's the Son. So in Jesus, what sense? So Jesus, is he? In Jesus. what sense is he the Son now? Is he a biological Son, or a spiritual Son, metaphoric Son, or an adopted Son? What kind of Son is he? <laughs> you, you're going to too much. Uh, no, no, because you use the term son of God. Yeah. So I want to know, because in English, you know, when you say the son of someone, yeah. like for example, this is your son, yeah, yeah, so he's your biological son, yeah? Yes, okay. Is. That is one way of understanding. Okay. Another way is, if if somebody adopts a child, yeah. then he's his adopted son. Yeah. Yes? The third way of understanding is like, you. they say, the peacemakers are the sons of God. Yeah. Yes, are the children of God. Yeah. That means that is a metaphoric way. Yes. Yes, it's an okay. allegorical term yeah, to say the Son of God. Yeah. So there's three ways of understanding in English yeah. what a Son of God is. Yeah. Now, which of that is your understanding when you say that Jesus is the Son of God? From these three... He is the Son of God. Okay, is it biological? Yeah. Is it adopted? Or is it metaphoric? Well, not biological in the way of Him, like God, like... Happy. Good, good, no biological. That's all you need to say. No need to explain. No, we know what it means. But, uh, so what uh, kind of Son is He if it's not biological then? But spiritual in the way of Him speaking. Like uh, in the beginning with Adam, who, like who's how, speaking like, to Adam? Like how Adam was, well, like how Adam was created, yeah. Adam was created, yeah, by God, yeah. Yeah, by God. So we call Adam the Son of God. Okay, so because he, it's God made him. Yeah. All right. Just so we say Jesus is the Son of God. That's very God. good, actually. You know, that is exactly the understanding of Islam. In fact, in the Quran, Allah says the same thing. The example of Jesus of Isa alayhi salam is like that of Adam. Yeah. Yes? When Allah wishes to create something, when God wishes to create something, all he says is kun fayakun, be and it becomes. So he only issues a command right. and he becomes whatever God intends to. You see what I mean? Yeah. So for you to say what you're saying yeah. is very much in line with Islam. So that's why I asked you, what kind of son is he? So in other words, you're telling me he's a metaphoric son. He's not, he's not a literal biological son. 
He's definitely not an adopted son. So what? What? The only thing that remains, unless you have got another definition. No, no, no that's, that's that's the three criteria that you gave to me. Okay, what is the other option? Give me. What Give me another way you can understand a son of someone. What I'm saying to you is, I say I've said to you just like Adam. Because who, who would you say is Adam's father? Who was Adam? I don't think Adam had a father. He was born without a mother and father. He yeah. was born without a mother and father. Do you not agree? So, who, but do you not agree with oh, that? Wait, wait, wait. How did it come about on this earth? By God's command. By himself? No, I told you, by God's command. Right, so then that's why God is his father. That's why we say that. Oh, if you're going to use that logic, yeah. then God is the father of everything. Yeah, of course he is. Because he created everything. Of course he is. Yes? Of course he is. So, what do you understand by the term, the term son of God then loses his meaning? No. It because doesn't. everyone will become the son of God somehow. It doesn't, because Jesus was there before Adam. Jesus was there before Adam? Before Adam. Where is the evidence for that? In the Bible. Where? Show me. In the beginning was the word and the beginning word. of what? In the beginning. Yeah, beginning of what? In the beginning of everything. everything. Where does it say beginning of everything? You just made that up. Honestly, you yeah, did. I Show me in the Bible where it says beginning of everything. I, I think you're 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 sticking to to uh you're sticking to words too much. Like you have to in order to understand. You you you're, you're critiquing everything like like every little verse. My friend, when you talk about God, then you have to be very careful what term you use, okay, okay. what language you use, what statements you use, because it can be blasphemous towards God. Do you believe in the Bible? I believe parts of it which agrees with the Quran. Does it make sense to you? So, any father don't so Allah says in the Quran that the, the Quran is al muhaymin that means it is something which is an overseer. What does the Quran say about Adam? Adam was created by Allah, I just told you in fact. Yeah. I told you that Jesus, Isa alayhi salam, is like an example the example of Jesus is like that.